Sandy Hook, A Lesson in Horror and Hypocrisy. The Horror, Friday, December 14, 2012, a 20-year-old man broke into Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut, and began a killing spree that left 20 children and 6 adults dead. Then he killed himself. The hypocrisy, politicians gave tearful statements before the news media about the tragedy, and even many news reporters were teary-eyed and quite emotional. Why was that hypocri hypocritical? Because those same people have campaigned and pushed for the slaughter of helpless children in, the, in their mother's wombs. The Bible says, Thou therefore which teachest another, thou teachest th thou not thyself? Thou that preachest a man should not steal, dost thou steal? Romans 2.21 It is hypocrisy to stand before the public and shed tears for the 20 children and 6 adults murdered at S Sandy Hook, while at the same time, campaigning for the mass murdering of 40 million babies in America since 1973. Every day of the year in America, 3,315 children are mass murdered by abortion. By the 25th day of, after conception, the baby's heartbeat can be detected in, in the womb. That is mo before most mothers even know for sure that they are expecting a baby. And one day at Sandy, at Sandy Hook, the hearts of 20 children and 6 adults were stopped by the murderous actions of one man. But every day in America, the hearts of 3,315 helpless children are stopped by the murderous actions of doctors performing abortions. In a speech at Sandy Hook, the president said, and every parent knows there is nothing we will not do to shield our children from harm. This is our first task, caring for our children. It's our first job. If we don't get that right, we don't get anything right. Can we say that we're truly doing some, enough to give all the children of this country the chance they deserve to live? I've been reflecting on th this the last few days, and if we're honest with ourselves, the answer is no. We're not doing enough, and we will have to change. These tragedies must end, and to end them, we must surely change. We must change. Surely we can do better than this. If there is even one step we can take to save another child, that's President Obama's speech at Newtown, Connecticut. Yes, there is a step that we can take immediately, outlaw abortion. How can we be so blind to our hypocrisy as a nation? 20 children are murdered at a school in America, and liberals want to outlaw our guns. But 3,315 children are murdered every day of the same of the year in America, and they are strangely silent with no call to outlaw abortion. What hypocrisy? Why are the American people and politicians so blind to this hypocrisy? The scene is unseen. As, a, as the, the rescued children were let out of Sandy Hook School, they were told to close their eyes and hold on to the person in front of them. That way, they did not have to see the blood splattered walls and bodies everywhere and have that hor horrific scene haunt their memories. This is the very problem with people that demand legalized abortion. They have not seen the blood splattered walls of the mother's wombs. They have not seen the literal piles of slaughtered babies, of bloody uh, shredded bodies of babies that have been aborted. <clears throat> they do not have nightmares of that horrible scene, but they should. Jesus said, for this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should be and should understand with their heart and should be converted, and I should heal them. Matthew 13, 15. Have you been converted by the Lord Jesus? Abortion is the last line of defense for an immoral generation that refuses to fear God and repent of their lust and immorality. God warns, and I give her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. God has given you space right now to repent. There is a horrible judgment coming upon all who demand abortion. So you shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Numbers 35, 33. The wicked shall be turned into hell in all nations that forget God. Psalms 9, 17. There is hope for you. And forgiveness if you will repent and receive the Lord Jesus. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins might be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And he shall send Jesus Christ, which before 
was preached unto you, Acts 3, 19 and 20. Two court decisions in 1962 and 63 removed school-sponsored Bible reading and prayer. Are they in your life? Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God, God Almighty, in the flesh, the creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe that Jesus is the only Savior and that he died on the cross for you and gave his pure, sinless blood to pay your sin debt? And then he rose from the grave the third day. Will you now repent of your sins and receive the Lord Jesus as your Savior? Call upon him right now to forgive you and to save your soul and to transform your life for his glory. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10, 13.